Hey guys, Lee H here, aka Criterion Racer. Last week I was down in Denver checking out a few um, card shops and uh, picked up a 1984 Tops and a few other non-sport and sport packs. And um, yeah, so I'm going to open an 84 pack here. And the gum is loose inside, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's let's see what if I pick anything up good. Uh, the the person at the checkout. <sighs> Want to only charge me one dollar for this pack, and and I am way too honest. And I told him, "Yeah, you got the wrong price on that bad boy. Otherwise, I would have cleaned you out." Uh, Tommy John, right there. Look at that elbow flexing. Larry Bittner, one bigger guy. George Hendricks. I don't remember being an All Star. Oh, good old Johnny Ray. Look at those eyes. We got Walt Terrell. Ron Robinson, UL Washington, come on, Manningly, Dale Barra, Phil Gardner, old manager for the Brewers, and last but not least, Jorge or George Bell. Yep, that wasn't too much of any Hall of Famers or anything like that, but yeah, it was fun opening up. I felt like opening some packs that maybe I will at the end. Let's get on to a little bit of mail here. Let's go with the padded envelope first. See what we ended up picking up for the week. I don't know how much. Um, <clears throat> well, I got into Leadville 100, considered one of the hardest mountain bike races in the country. So a lot of my time is going to have to be, and money, it's going to have to be filtered into um, racing this season. Uh, anyways, um, I don't have this Goonies car in a PSA 7, and it costs about the same as grading. I didn't dig out my other ones, but, um, going for the, all the stickers in a PSA holder. Um, let's cover up him, uh, of the Goonies cards. And let's get on to some stacks of more mail here. I love it when they shipped it into these envelopes. Let's take a little gander here, as long as I don't cut anything. Because it's a pretty hard envelope. And, ooh, we got an Expedition card of Eddie Matthews. I don't believe I had there. Picked this up for like less than $10. I know I got the Warren's mom into my vintage. Um, and so that's a nice little pickup that I needed for my collection right there. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Nice condition for a really good price. And we got here, ah, Doug Sutherland. Yeah, I don't really collect football cards, but this one is in a great shape. So I was with my, for my birthday down in Denver with my folks, and I got a couple of beers in my dad at, at the, um, uh, at, at a brewery. I, I don't drink, but anymore. Um, and I was going over, um, other football players besides Dave Casper that he actually had to block in his college or high school career. And one of them is Doug Sutherland. Um, he played at UW Superior in about an 11-year career as a defensive tackle. My dad was an offensive pulling guard um, back in the day. Um, and, yeah, so he played for the Vikings. Um, so, you know, just for nostalgia purposes, um, yeah, I picked up a few um, cars that, you know, players that he had to physically block and go against. No good real stories about him. Maybe the next one will be. Uh, cars I picked up here. Uh, I got a lot of four Bob Eukers from Franklin Carmel's, an unofficial card. But this ended up being like, I won the auction. A lot of times I put bids in for like the minimum. You know what I mean? This was $2 for four of his cards. I only thought I had four, not three. Anyways, look at that color variation between those two. Interesting. Um, but this is a fun set of 12 of usually Hall of Famers, but we got good old Bob Euchre. The color on these cards is fabulous compared to the one that I have for my collection. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I started opening this and thinking it was... Um, thinking it was um, bike parts, <laughs> you know, but it was not. And I picked up another Queen of Pop. Um, a Mundana stick for this one's from 1995. Last week I kind of showed, see how the cards are actually were bigger back in 1990. Patini set, both are um, from the Smash Hit collection. Uh, 95 was not Ray of Light, so 
I, I believe that is Oliver, and I forget who that is. Oh, yeah, way too much information right there. Um, let's go pick, open a pack of 89. Uh, Donruss, I've never pulled a Griffey, to my knowledge, out of this. I've pulled it out of Fleer and Upper Deck, but I've never pulled it out of Donruss. Even when Craig B, I won Craig B's Bozo the Clown um, Ball Toss um, giveaway and for a box of 89 Donruss. Oh, look at that. I've been flipping out right there. Good old Greg Jeffries. Man, that thing was a hot color back in the day, back in 89. Had that one and the score one. Oh, boy. We're going to go on to Van Slaw. Good old Doc Gooden right there. Um, one of my PC guys, Jim Gettner from Eden, Wisconsin. <clears throat> yep. A great second baseman for the Brewers. Very underrated. And this is a sweet little pack. Huh? I haven't got another Brewer of Paul Molly, Molitor. Uh, MVP cards. I liked these back in the day. Glenn Davis, Terry Pendleton, Chuck Finley. We got another brewer, Robin Young. I mean, that's a sweet. And another brewer behind him. The number one overall draft pick is BJ Surhoff. Another guy with a great career when he was even better when he went over to the Orioles, but nonetheless. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, I don't know what I got for you next week. Maybe to open some more packs. Until next time, guys, we'll catch you later, and thanks for tuning in.